Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. I'm Jerry. I'm Will. And you're watching another Brunomics one-off series where we review a beer. One time. Yes. Today's beer is from Iron Horse Brewery, Thousand Flowers. It is a wheat wine ale made with honey and saffron. Did you know it takes 1,000 flowers to produce one ounce of saffron? Well, that's what the label told me. Uh, it did, told me that also. Yeah. Uh, inspired by this, we have created a limited edition, one batch only ale designed to tantalize your taste buds. I'm super excited to drink I'm this. I'm quite intrigued. Do you want to show the camera what that looks like? Yeah, of course. I might have to come around here, mind the that's dog, okay. and sleep it's in. Okay. Um, on Untapped real quick while I've shown you that, before we get into what a wheat wine is, because you're probably like, what's a wheat wine ale? At least I was when I saw that. Um, brand new beer on Untapped, it has 11 check-ins and 11 ratings with a 4.9, 4.09 rating. God, 4.9 would be amazing. 4.09 is still really good. Yeah. So, let's uh, open this up. What's a wheat wine? Wheat wine is gonna be, it's actually gonna be similar to like a barley wine ale, but because it's wheat, it's gonna be a little lighter in color. A little lighter in flavor, a little bit more sweet, um, you know, kind of what you'd expect from like a Hefe because it's made with wheat instead of barley. Uh, so not as much malt flavor, and I'm hoping not as much booziness. It's interesting though because we're at 9.6% ABV. I don't think that I've had a Hefe that's been over, you know, 6%. I don't think I've ever had one that's reached 7 and up. I don't so. know if I've ever even seen one like that. Uh, Lots of hay. Good, good pour though, sir. I like it. Interesting, yeah. nice. Good it's amber so golden nice. color. Yeah. It looks like uh, uh, Hammond's cane in Jurassic Park. The hell of a little mosquito. The hell of sap. Yeah. Oh, I got my mustache. This looks good. I'm going to have a sip. Oh, wow. That's pretty amazing. Hmm. Similar to barley wine. Definitely sweeter, not as much bitters at the end. That is, that is sweet. Wow, you can definitely taste the honey. Smooth. Hmm. Paula, Vic, you guys want to give this one a try? There we go. <laughs> Don't make it awkward or anything, Paula. God, I'm so hard. Man, that is sweet. It's almost like uh, if you've ever had a, a mead. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting out of this one. Yeah. It's not bad. I would not guess this is 9.6. It actually hides the booziness pretty well. Yeah. Unfiltered, crazy looking beer. It's it, good. It almost tastes like a Belgian triple. Almost. Definitely a little, a little bit more, thicker. Yeah, it's thicker and there's a little bit more fruit to it. You should chug it. That, that's going to mess me up a little bit, but here we go. <laughs> Chug, chug, chug. Chug, chug. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I thought about it. Usually I like to finish these by chugging the beer, but I don't think this is. That'd be like chugging syrup or it's, honey, maybe. It's very thick. It's like a stout, almost. How thick it is. Uh, the thickness! Well, what'd you rate it? Okay, so 4.09 with its 11 ratings. How are we gonna. What are we gonna do? I feel like we have a lot of power. I do. Yeah, we could right we now. could demolish this beer or we could elevate it. It's hard to say because you know you've never had a wheat wine before. Nope. To know exactly what it is, it's but not really a real level of comparison. But it's still how much you enjoy it. I can't remember. I think do you it remember was, how much this cost? I want to say nine bucks. Nine bucks nine for bucks. a twenty-two. For a one batch release. There's also that, that does make it very special. Nine bucks for a one batch release. That's a pretty like. Yeah, normally you're paying like fifteen mm -hmm. bucks at least for a twenty-two on that, or, God, or it less sweet. ounces. It is sweet. It's like a yeah. dessert beer. Those are gonna fill you up. It's definitely one of those beers that you would give out as a gift for Christmas. It's, it, it, I think it falls into that category because of that, and it is a special release. I, th I actually think this is almost properly rated. Hmm. I'm gonna go three seven five. Three seven five. I'd have it again, but I wouldn't buy it for myself. I do. I love Iron Horse. This is pretty good. It's pretty thick. It's pretty sweet. I think I'm gonna have to give it a three five. Okay. So, but it's good. Go. I would try it, especially if you can get it, because it's always you know, one batches. Those are fun, especially at nine bucks. That's a rarity. You're gonna get something. If you're looking for what could be the next hotness, like in terms of you know trends within brewing, this could be it. 
Go out, find a wheat wine, give it a try. See what you, see what you, see what you find. Maybe. I don't know. The internet says it's a rarer type of beer. Yeah, but as much things have been but, changing, I think we're going to see that's probably only because it hasn't been brewed that much, but of course with the way the craft industry is booming! Yeah. Boom. I mean, this beer is almost, I think it's almost as old as you since the first time it was brewed. I think it was brewed in like first, like in 1985. Oh, really? Yeah. That was like, so it's relatively new. I think it was a home brewer's uh, kitchen accident, actually. So, interesting. Yeah. Well, I would say try it. Um, also, I would say you should check out our podcast on whatever podcast you listen to. It is called Brewnomics. <laughs> Uh, follow us on all things social media at Brunomics, myself at the Basco Fiasco. I'm at Sinclair Will. Um, and like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell all your friends. That's the big one. Tell your friends. Mm-hmm. Word of mouth does wonders, and it's the best form of marketing, and really does help us out. Because who doesn't want to share a good beer with friends? All exactly. Right. Until next time, I'm Jerry. I'm Will. Cheers. Cheers.